Hello everyone, this is Derek with Reef Automation. This is another Reef Automation tutorial for Neptune Systems. Today I'm going to go over the dashboard and how it works. Uh, also going to go over labeling and some best practices for using the dashboard. Today I'm going to be using a Mac with Google Chrome as the server, but the same Controls are on any type of Android device, iPhone, iPad, any iOS device. The same directions and instructions I'm about to show you will also work with that as well. So let's get started. So first thing you'll notice about my desktop or dashboard is that I have a lot of stuff. So when you have this much stuff, you have to know how to organize it. So what I found, as I said, for best practices is to locate all of the important things on the upper left-hand corner. So if you place everything onto the upper left-hand corner here, what will be nice is when you use this on a phone or when you use this on an iPad, everything on the left here will show up first. So I typically like to put the feed cycles in there, any type of maintenance modes, uh, your alarm, emails, the most important things up in the upper left-hand corner. Now, for those that don't know, the lock up here is how you're able to move and alter where the locations of these are. So just keep in mind that if it is unlocked, you can move things. If it is locked, you cannot move things. And then anytime you unlock or lock, it'll show you all of the available outlets, uh, sources, any type of inputs, outputs, and I use just a few different things. I like to have everything organized, as you can see, which we're going to go over. Now, on an iPhone, you're also going to have another thing that locks you from automatically switching one of these from auto to on to off. And anytime you want to use it, you have to slide the little overlay off to the left in order to enable or disable anything on the dashboard here. So... Some best practices for doing this, like I said, is the most important stuff I put on the upper left-hand corner. Again, that way it shows up the best on the phone. I like to put all of my probes in one section, or in this case, my trident, and then my probes. And you'll see I have my salt probe, my, my pH probe, I have my return. And then, for instance, I have my reef pump, and then I put the reef pump right underneath it. I like to put the temperature and then the chiller and heater underneath the temperature, because generally that's what I'm going to be turning on or checking whenever the temperature is bad. My ORP, I have an ozone generator, so I like to know what my ORP is, and right underneath it is the ozone, so that way I can quickly go to the ozone because it's right underneath it. So I recommend anybody that's using anything that alters pH, anything that alters salinity, anything that alters your return, and you have an outlet for it to put it as close as possible to the, to the pH or the probe that you're using. So if you look at my dose, I kind of did the same thing here. So my alkalinity and calcium dosing I have right underneath. My amino and magnesium I have right underneath. And then my phyto I have right underneath. So it's very important uh, that you do it that way. That way you can change things on the fly and you know exactly where they are. Another thing to notice is separators. So in my case, I'm running three different systems or three different tanks. So I use different things for separators. So for instance, the clock is actually not being used. It's just a separator. So that way, when I'm using my phone, I know that when I see the clock, that means that all of my auxiliary devices, like my auto top off system, my auto water change system, my dosing are all going to be shown underneath the clock. Anything above the clock are the more important things for each one of the fish tanks. So as, as I was mentioning, it's very important that you label everything and organize everything in bunches so that way you can get to them as quickly as possible if you have any issues. So another thing that you'll notice is labeling. So since I have three tanks, I like to put reef, fish, or office in front of them because those are my three tanks. And then I like to indicate what it is. And then I usually use underscores. I find underscores to be easiest. Uh, you can also use dashes. As you can see, I use dashes on some of my sensors. So as you can see, I put all my most important things here and I can easily get to what I need to get to whenever I need to get to it. Here's all my uh, Vortec pumps. It tells me the speed of everything. So very convenient, very easy. So again, uh, lock, unlock right up here. 
and put the most important stuff in the upper left hand corner other than that that's about it just wanted to give you an idea of what I do and how I organize my dashboard and how I label things so if you like the video just please uh, hit the thumbs up below also if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe to the channel as I do live streams every week and I typically give away things during those live streams and I try to put up new videos as much as I can about automation related topics so Again, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below. Thank you.